Hello friends. What if I'm going to tell you that incandescent light bulb lover Daryl Kopanadze from Georgia and energy saving light bulb lover Andrei E. Slobodian worked together? But first things first. The website of the Infinity Save Company did not function during June and July of 2022, then it began to work. But some information has disappeared from the pages. This is a page about the team and some joint photos of Andrus Slobodian and the CEO of the company named Sean or Ravshan Abdukaramov. But the pages on Facebook and Instagram have not yet been fixed. Perhaps they will be deleted soon. Today I want to tell you about one very interesting story that I stumbled upon not so long ago while conducting my investigation about the developments of Slobodian. Let's look at video of devices that Slobodian seems to have invented. There are many videos on the YouTube channel of Infinity Save, lasting from 30 to 100 seconds without any clear explanations. Let's look at them. Лампочка 50 ватт, как орел работает, пускается пальчиковые батарейки. Сейчас я комментировать буду, то есть сейчас открою коробочку, покажу, что там ничего нету. Так, открываем. Это трансформатор, это инвертор, это конвертер, это вот сама основная плата. Вот, здесь никаких потаемных источников питания нету. Все это работает. Сейчас включаю. Чтобы видно было. Как мы запускаем то же самое. Сейчас видно, что ничего, ничего нигде не понятно.
работающий образец. Думаю, достаточно. The only explanation in the video titled Some Inventions of Infinity Save is dated March 28, 2015. Here is how the assistant explains the principle of operation. The thing is this. A uh, little... Um, how to call that, I don't know. Um, but what it does, it's... Uh, <clears throat> um, by being connected to a battery one time it produces electricity without without pretty much anything it would need extra uh, this size is the first of its kind first prototype uh, right now there is already one made about 70 percent smaller and what it does it's uh, Сколько вольт она? Сейчас половина вольт. А тридцать, да? Нет, шестнадцать с половиной вольт. А тридцать вольт. This one particularly gives sixteen and a half volt and thirty watts. So, so going back to the chip, this thing is doing the following. It is receiving uh, uh, power from battery. Uh, could we please connect one? Uh. That's a simple light. This power is connected only once, the battery is then removed. Battery? Yeah, simple battery. Start battery. It's like, uh, you know, starting a, an engine. So the battery is disconnected. There is electricity running through this thing now. No, please turn the light on. Uh, electricity is running through now, going through transformers, transistors, this and that. It's like for a musician, it's not to be understood really. But uh, as a result, it's being transformed into 24 no. kilohertz. And no. with a stable output, of uh, 30 watts so there is this light burning no and there is nothing connected to it and it will burn pretty much forever because uh, it's based on frequencies relating to um, as far as I have understood there's magnetic field and um, as, for example, a phone would need something like 5 or a bit more volts, this thing could be made smaller than the phone battery and replace all batteries in all cellular phones, uh, which is quite revolutionary. Um, this is, this, this uh, uh, example is quite large because it's the first one, it has been handmade uh, by this guy. And uh, yes, as I said, it, it can be much, much smaller and it can uh, also be much bigger because uh, there is one now in process of being made which is to supply uh, a constant stream of one kilowatt. Yes, one kilowatt. Da, da, de la one kilowatt power, and uh, there are suspicions that it could be even larger. So, um, yeah, starting from small mobile devices, which would never to be charged, never to be recharged, and just could constantly run. And ending with other things, it is quite an invention. Oh, we can also turn on those uh, diodes.
То есть это убираем. Basically, this 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 big thing that behind is the uh, frequency generator. It's just uh, uh, it takes the electricity just given by the battery, does something with it, and eventually it keeps streaming and streaming and streaming. Показать, как останавливается. А, now Andre would show how it stops when it's being switched off. It's slow, we didn't долго долго останавливаться, он так сказал. Because the stuff keeps running through it until it exhausts itself. But so if you don't switch it off, it will continue providing whatever device required with the Yeah, it's a it's a it's a loud thing to say with infinite electricity, but it is infinite electricity. So it's at the moment it's still feeding itself. It does not run out of of power uh, fast. Yeah, there at this moment there are no paperwork or anything on this device. Um, Perhaps you know an inventor from Georgia named Daryl Kopanadze. He became famous for a large number of fake inventions since mid 1990s and still excites the immature minds of his modern followers. There is a video on YouTube dated May 2015. Kopanadze presents his invention. Let's listen to how Kopanadze describes his device. Сегодня 12 мая 2015 года. Рядом с твоим, со с моим, с моим партнером Романом Перушин. Вот масса. Обычное заземление, которое можно облизать, можно потрогать руками при включенной установке, и ничего с тобой не случится. Батарейка. Крона. Крона. 9 вольт. Нету. Вот. Все по нулям. Теперь берем обычную крону. И включаем. Вот этим пальцем И убираем крону. Вот она. Сейчас включаем вентиляторы. Включаем нагрузку. И измеряем. Измеряем только выход. Уже выходное 6,8 ампер. Это где-то полтора киловатта. Включаем чайник. 14,7 ампер. Вот. Разделение 4. Так, лучше видно. Это около 3. А то же самое и на втором. Вот дальше. Вот дальше. А, все, дальше. Сейчас упадет на меня. Вот так. Все, можно. Печку то же самое. Пожалуйста. Печку выключили. Выключили. Осталось пускай одна погорит теперь минуты две три. Потом будем менять. Ну вот так. Ага. Ну и как такое не было. Чайник закипает. During the experiment. 
Roman decided to turn the fan off and on. Assistant of Kopinadza suddenly decided to turn off the heater, which consumes maximum energy. Why did he turn off the heater? Is he afraid of fast battery discharge? Or, overheating of the room? I will return to this phenomenon later. Трио, расскажите, пожалуйста, вкратце о том, что здесь представлено. Что это за установка? Установка ясная для всех, потому что это тесловская система. Первичный контур, пожалуйста, ну, грубо говоря, что мы делаем после этой кроны, этой системы, мы поднимаем частоту до 200 кГц. Это мы здесь получаем большую, большую энергию в конце вот этого узкого этого, этой узкой катушки. А вот это уже вторичный контур. Но это уже все равно ухал, ребят. Здесь, чтобы кто-то не обманулся, может влезать такая схема, которая Вообще не нужна здесь. Это для очень-очень-очень серьезных специалистов, чтобы их завести в заблуждение. Несколько схем не из таких. Сейчас посмотрите, максимально сделали, раскинули. Его можно было сделать вот в таком состоянии. Ага. Два этажа пошли бы. Ага. Но, но мы разбросали их, потому что было бы видно, что там ничего нет. Сейчас, если кто-то скажет, что здесь аккумулятор лежит, и на нем эти, все это включено... Ну, аккумулятор не будет столько вот работать, она уже работает, вот установку вот этого вот, электро... Ну, я это говорю, но, достаточно долго. но есть категория людей, которые именно вот это и кричат и говорят. Понятно. Закончен. А сразу не выключаем. Не, не выключается сразу. А то кнопка, что? Некоторые думают, нажал и все. Все. Я включил. Summarizing both devices. Slobodian's device does not have a Tesla coil and grounding. Both devices start on batteries and after the start, additional energy is taken by increasing the frequency. Kopinads calls this resonance because of the high frequencies. Slobodian does not clearly talk about the principle of work. But he hints that additional energy is taken as a result of the initial impulse of the battery. Seems like a similar principle. So, could these two light bulb lovers know each other? Yes. They worked together. Roman Pervushin was the intermediary in their affairs. <laughs>
Now let's think about how these devices worked. I hope you don't think that this energy is from the ether or power of the earth. Kopenadze took all the visible part from the device designed by Donald L. Smith. But Donald L. Smith himself was never able to prove the operability of the device, despite some fake presentations. Okay, uh, uh, there are a lot of uh, different uh, things. Uh, uh, this thing's a little bit heavy, and I see it's got a lot of sawdust on it because it was sitting. Uh, let's see uh, which way to turn it. We don't want this to fall out. Uh, can you see it okay? Yes. Okay, uh, you notice that this uh, main coil there uh, has the center part of it cut out and uh, uh, the two cut things are brought over as, uh, as your ground deal. Okay, and the ends... Uh, Although Kopenadze denies that he hides the battery in the black box. But most likely it is. Probably deep cycle flooded battery 12 or 24 volt 100 ampere hours, dimensions are very similar. A 1.3 to 2 kilowatt hour battery is enough to connect and boil a kettle, lamps, and a fan for 30 minutes of operation. And this video shows only 12 minutes of continuous work with the load. And the assistant turned off the heating device for a while, which is the most energy consuming. The same thing happened at the demonstration of Slobodian's generator on the island. We will omit the pathetic part of the video. During the experiment, he turned off the heater and left only a 5 watt light bulb on. And the experiment continues for the next four hours without a heavy load. Only energy saving light bulbs and a fan. Hocus pocus. Okay, let's get back to the PCB device. In fact, Slobodian hides the battery in a transformer and, using micro circuits, slightly raises the current strength so that it is enough to charge a smartphone or a light bulb lights up for 20 to 30 seconds. All these videos last for 15 to 30 seconds of work. This is indicated by a weak charge due to the small size of the battery inside the transformer. Don't believe? Then prove otherwise. And there is another interesting similarity. Tariel Kopenadze seems to have died in the same summer of 2020 as Andre Slobodian. Two swindlers left this world in one summer. It will be even more interesting in the near future. Stay in touch. Arrivederci.